And on this Veterans Day, we want to tell you the story about a Civil War hero, a soldier who has become little more than a footnote in history, despite the fact that he was the first Union officer to be killed during the Civil War. Despite being one of the most famous soldiers in the nation at the time, there is little to commemorate his impact on history. WGN's Larry Potash tells us how some people are trying to change that. Elmer Ellsworth wasn't from Illinois originally, but he got his start here as a soldier and became a good friend of Lincoln. So what made him so famous then and so obscure now? Here's the story of Elmer Ellsworth. At five foot six, Elmer Ellsworth was not an imposing figure or an intimidating force, but he was a leader of men through character and a unique, spectacular skill. After spending time as a law clerk for an attorney named Abraham Lincoln, Ellsworth became interested in military tactics. He trained in an unusual military drill and recruited men for his elite unit of sword fighters, the Zouaves. They were pretty much uh, acrobats on the battlefield. Uh, people have compared them to the current Cirque du Soleil. Um, they were gymnasts, primarily average height, about 5'6", but very deadly on the battlefield if, uh, if you confronted them. More experienced swordsmen in the East didn't take him seriously, so he issued a challenge for other units to outperform his Zouaves from Chicago. When no one responded, he took his men across the country to perform 22 shows. People were stunned. He was a sensation. And arguably, uh, historians have said that he was the most famous man in America in August of 1860. Lincoln called Ellsworth the greatest little man he ever met. April 1861, tensions rose between North and South. Lincoln put out the call for 75,000 soldiers, and in May, Ellsworth was the first officer to lead the march into Virginia. He saw a Confederate flag flying on top of the Marshall House Hotel. It was 8 feet by 14 feet, so big Lincoln could see it from the White House. Ellsworth marched to the top of the hotel, tore down the flag, and draped it over his shoulder. Only to be met halfway down on the landing by the owner, proprietor of the Marshall House, James W. Jackson, who had a double-barreled shotgun. Uh, Elmer didn't see him, and he fired a shot right into his heart, killing Elmer instantly. With that, Elmer became the first martyr of the Union cause, and, and he was from Illinois. Despite his popularity and fame and his friendship with Abraham Lincoln, little has been written about Ellsworth. There are only two books about Ellsworth, the latest published 87 years ago. In fact, libraries are discarding them. Author John uh, Hulskamp started a foundation to produce Illinois, a statue of Ellsworth. Other, uh, this hunk of stone in Lincoln Park is the pedestal for the old Garibaldi statue, which has since been moved. Hulskamp says it's the perfect place for an Ellsworth statue because it's between the statue of Ulysses S. Grant and the statue of Ellsworth's old friend, Abraham Lincoln. Elmer is a hometown hero, friend of Lincoln, and if I think we were to take a time capsule back and speak to Abraham Lincoln, he would nod his head, say, yes, this is the greatest little man that I've ever met. Camp says the reason Ellsworth has been largely ignored is that he got his start in Illinois, and most Civil War historians focus on what happened in the East, Gettysburg, Antietam, where we get most of our Civil War photos. Camp hopes to have a statue by April 2015, marking the 150th anniversary of the end of the Civil War. There, Larry, a little bit of information we didn't know. Mm -hmm. To learn more about Ellsworth Memorial Association, go to ellsworthmemorial.org.